Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. Uh, my name is Usman Chaudhary and in this video I am going to show you how you can make uh, this type of virus slide in SolidWorks. Um, basically I am making this video on the request of one of my YouTube followers. So uh, keep watching this video till end and if you want to download this part and I will leave the download link in the description of this video. So let's start first of all I will draw a sketch uh, um, a simple sketch of the slide uh, from top view so assume if you are watching the slide uh, from top view uh, then its sketch will look like uh, uh, like I'm going to draw a sketch on front plane and it will be a sim simple sketch so the sketch of the slide from top view will looks like uh, this uh, like a line then some curves and again a line now uh, press and hold control key and select this line and this curve make their relation tangent also tangent relation for both these arcs then tangent relation for these two arcs and also a tangent relation for these uh, this line and this arc then you can uh, rearrange the sketch like this now uh, define the distance from this point up to uh, the center of the R, uh, slide and uh, um, let's say it's this distance is 12 meter then define this length 10 meter also define this length and it's uh, it should be 10 meter now next step is that uh, count the uh, the points like one, two, third point, uh, this quadrant point, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So it means that we have to create ten new planes. So save and exit from sketch mode by pressing this button and then uh, go to features then select reference geometry and plane drop down these options and from here select front plane and uh, then type here number of planes and it is uh, 10 then uh, next step is that we have to define total height uh, total height of the slide and uh, let's say its total height is 20 meters so we are going to create 10 new planes for 20 meter height uh, which means that each new plane will be 2 meters apart from the previous plane so type here 2 meter then press ok button so here we go we have 10 planes start from plane 1 click on it and then sketch on it make normal 2 by pressing ctrl plus 8 key and then drop a point on this point press escape button and then save and exit from sketch mode so now hide this plane 1 and then sketch on plane 2 make normal 2 by pressing ctrl plus 8 key and then drop drop a point on this quadrant again save and exit from sketch mode and uh, then hide this plane 2 then sketch on plane 3 make normal 2 and drop the point so repeat this step um, for all planes now sketch on plane 3 make normal 2 and at this time drop a point on uh, this quadrant point then hide this plane 
3 and now sketch on plane 4 make normal 2 and then drop a point like here save and exit from sketch mode height and then plane uh, 4 plane 5 sketch on it then drop a point here save and exit from sketch mode hide this plane 5 now for plane 6 sketch on it then make normal 2 drop a point like here now hide this plane 6 sketch on plane 7 make normal 2 and then drop a point on this quadrant point save and exit from sketch mode hide this plane 7 and then for plane 8 sketch on it make normal 2 and then drop a point here so now hide this plane 8 and for plane 9 sketch on it make normal 2 and drop the point now hide this plane 9 also and for plane 10 sketch on it and drop a point at the end save and exit from sketch mode so now hide this plane 10 now go to sketch tab and from here click on this arrow below the sketch option and then from here select 3d sketch so now draw a spline and then start it from the origin then uh, you have to click on all these points one by one this point then this point then this point this be careful while drawing these points now press escape button so now press this button to save and exit from sketch mode you can hide this sketch too so next step is that we have to create one more uh, plane go to features tab and from here select reference geometry and then plane now click on this spline and then this point and press ok button now uh, sketch on this new plane then make normal 2 and uh, then draw arc 3 point arc like this then draw a line one on this side and one on this side now draw another three point arc on these points so now define the width of this uh, line and it should be 150 millimeter then select this line and this line make the relation equal and then this center point this center point and the origin make the relation vertical also select uh, the center point for the upper arc and the origin make the relation coincident now define the distance from this point up to this point 150 millimeter or you can um, you can adjust or choose your own dimension now define the total width of the uh, slide let's say it's 3 meter then 
go to features tab and from here select swept bow space command now select this sketch as a profile and this uh, spline as a path then press ok button now you can hide this plane in level so here you can see click on this i icon and then from here select sketch then to hide these points these points now you can um, change the appearance of the slide so select this face then select appearance select face choose the color uh, let's say brown this face then press ok button again select the inner face and then appearance face and from here select red so this is how we can make the slide and uh, one more thing um, uh, let's say this this slide is covered from top side so for that again sketch on this face make normal to by pressing control plus 8 key then for your ease let me rotate it press the space button and then select the view orientation now you can use arcs press the escape button and then select this line and this line then from here select convert entities again go to features tab and from here select swept bow base command and then select this sketch as a profile and uh, if you find uh, um, difficult to select uh, this sketch you can also drop down this option uh, or this tree then you can select this sketch from here so this is the profile and for the path click on swept to or sweep to and then from here select 3d sketch as a path then press ok button so now what we have to do we have to change the appearance of this upper part and for that click on this face and then appearance then select sweep 3 then expand the appearances and then uh, expand the plastic and then from here search for the clear plastic so here is the clear plastic then you can select the, uh, the type of plastic like acrylic or any of the type then press ok button so here you can see This is how we can make uh, the slides uh, in SolidWorks. I hope you had enjoyed and learned from this video. And if you want to download uh, this file, uh, this file, uh, I will leave the download link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and sparing time.